Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are checking out Moss Burger's latest burger campaign. So they just released a couple of new burgers. They're calling their... They're, they call them the Toby Kitty Burgers. It's kind of a, a line of burgers that they usually have. Um, basically it means like outstanding or excellent kind of a premium premium burger but they've just released a couple that have Hokkaido cheese on it and uh, part of the feature of these kind of burgers especially right now in their advertising campaign is they're trying to promote that it's made with a hundred percent Japanese beef so they're they're not using the word Wagyu even though wa means Japanese gyu means beef Japanese beef they're just calling it domestic beef but uh, apparently it should be really good. So they have two, there's one, uh, just a cheeseburger, the regular cheeseburger, it's got Hokkaido cheese, and I, I've mentioned it many times, I'm sure some of you are aware, if not, Hokkaido is the northernmost region of Japan. It's where a lot of agriculture comes from, so it's kind of like bragging rights to say we've got you know, dairy products or this kind of thing agricultural products from that region so quite often you'll see Hokkaido something Hokkaido cheese Hokkaido milk this kind of thing so we've got Hokkaido cheese there's two kinds of Hokkaido cheese uh, cheddar and Gouda I think is what they were were saying I'm not sure <laughs> what the percentage is the patty however is a hundred percent domestic beef the second one is also a cheeseburger I believe I believe it's a cheeseburger, but it has bacon, so I got I got that one. Bacon and cheeseburger. Hokkaido bacon and cheeseburger. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Self-contained in this little uh, pouch. And as we know, Moss Burger can be very messy, so I'm glad that it is contained in this. So, let me bring you in and try to show you exactly what we got going on here. Okay, yep. <laughs> Yes, living up to its name as being a super, super messy burger joint. Ah, I can open this thing. Here we go. So, right away, we can see what's going on. I don't know, mine seems particularly squashed for some reason. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, on the bottom, we've got a bun slathered in mayonnaise with a leaf lettuce glued to it. Then we've got a massive tomato. That looks really good. Now, Moss Burger's famous for their huge slice of tomato. So if you're not in, into tomatoes, you're not going to like it. There is the domestic beef patty. 100% domestic beef patty. So I can peel this off. Okay. And there we go. It's got two... It said it had two kinds of cheese, but it looks like they're all just sort of blended together into one sort of liquefied cheese uh, sauce. And then there is the bacon there. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, oh, there's some onions in there too. And I don't know if you can see, beyond the cheese sauce, there's also some barbecue sauce. Now, supposedly it's a Japanese barbecue sauce, so there's a good chance it's more like a teriyaki sauce. You can get this burger, the bacon, the Hokkaido bacon cheeseburger. I don't know if that looks good or not. I know it's uncommon for it to look like the picture pretty much anywhere else, but I gotta say, Moss Burger normally does a relatively good job, but I don't know what's going on here. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. Um, 760 yen for this. There is a coupon on the app. You can get 20 yen off, so you can get it for 740 yen. <laughs> if you want but uh, yeah let's give this a shot itadakimasu <laughs> there's a nice smokiness coming from that bacon again it's the Japanese sort of thick cut bacon but it's got a nice smokiness um, the barbecue sauce it's not quite a teriyaki but it's definitely not your sort of you know western style barbecue sauce either I mean overall it tastes quite fine I'm usually a little 
mm, negative about the uh, the patties they use on this Toby Kitty line. For some reason, I was maybe it was their advertising. I was a little more excited about this particular one, but somehow they tend to use the same old type of patty. It, it almost seems like it's a low grade. It's domestic beef, but it's like a low grade beef. And it's not really, like it's not very juicy. It's almost kind of dry, the patty itself, right? As I'm eating it, I, there's like a cold spot. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why. Like, I think, I think it was the meat. I don't know if it was frozen or whatever. Like it wasn't a frozen spot. It was just like a cold spot. It could have been cooked maybe another 30 seconds longer or something is what I'm thinking. Cheese sauce is really good though. I'm not a huge fan of this messy like nacho cheese goop everywhere, but the flavor in the cheese sauce is really good. It's got a nice kind of sharp or strong cheddar cheese kind of flavor. So overall, I don't mind it. My expectations were a little higher than the experience I'm having with it <laughs> since discovering that it was a little squashed to begin with. Mm, but, I mean, I have had a lot worse, that's for sure. Yeah, so here's the thing about Moss Burger, right? <laughs> it's a mess. The good part is you've got a bunch of soup left in your wrapper here. So uh, you can dip your fries in it. Yeah. Who needs ketchup? And you've got this sort of cheese sauce at the bottom of your uh, pouch. So I opted for the set. So like I said, the burger itself was 760. Adding a medium fries, you could choose the size, the price accordingly, but a medium fries and a medium drink it brought the total up to 12.10. So I don't know if you think that's a good deal or not, but I gotta say, I am enjoying this uh, cheese sauce on my fries. So in conclusion, an adequate burger, a typical mess, but again, it didn't blow me away. The uh, expectation was higher than what I actually uh, experienced. However, a decent burger. Let me know if you're in Japan, if you're a fan of the Toby Kitty series that they do, their premium burger line. Um, and have you tried the Hokkaido bacon cheeseburger or not? I mean, like I said, it's not bad. I know Moss tends to be a little more expensive to begin with than if you go to McDonald's or other fast food joints. So you know what you're getting into when you go there. But uh, I was not dissatisfied by it let's just say that <laughs> so uh let's wrap up this video i just want to say thanks for watching if you're new here please subscribe don't forget to thumb up this video ring that dinner bell and we'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>